Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am excited to finally be doing um, this makeup tutorial. I'm very excited. When I was cleaning out my closet, I found my little desktop tripod. It's amazing what you find when you clean out your closet. So yeah, um, that's what we're gonna do. I am gonna be doing probably, helps if I put my mic on, hopefully one of the easiest it tutorials um, I'm just gonna be doing basic like using basic makeup I'm not gonna be using any like costume or like Halloween makeup so hopefully this will be very easy so yeah we're just gonna get into it if that sounds good stick around um, please take a moment hit that subscribe button down below I've been trying to move my lighting so it's not like super dark we'll maybe leave it right there I might have to move it a little bit okay got my mirror Got my tripod we're good to go okay so we're gonna get into it i primed my face i used a mattifying primer and a pore filling primer a little bit a little bit of moisturizer and that's it okay for foundation again you could use a white grease paint um costume makeup i have a tube of it in my bathroom but for simplistic purposes, I'm just going to use a foundation that is too light for my skin tone because while it looks kind of tan in the tube, it will make me look pale, but you could definitely use white makeup. Um, like I said, I have some, I'm, as I'm starting to get older, it doesn't sit real well on my skin and can look a little patchy. And this is in 112. This is natural ivory 112. This is the matte and poreless normal to dry. This is who makes this Maybelline I mean remember it's been so long since I've used this but and I don't this used to be my foundation shade and I don't know in what universe I thought I was 112 and I think I um I wore this is like the second bottle of this that I bought too so I thought I was the shade for a hot minute Jeffree Star isn't even this light that'll should tell you something but so we're just gonna go in as you can see it. and I may have to just turn my ring light off I have it it's like off to the side so it's casting I oh, will pull it right there that's better it's probably casting a weird light but yeah this will make me look pale so you could definitely do like I said you could do white makeup I don't necessarily think that you have to um, it just really depends on the look you want to go for like I said just using a foundation that is too light for you is going to give you a very similar effect and this isn't going to be like a true like classic it version I'm going to modify it make it a little more glam ish and I was gonna hopefully this turns out I was going to do like a dry run and like do the makeup and kind of see how it turned out kind of planned this out in my head but I haven't actually tested it on my face so this could be a fail we'll see like I said I have looked at pictures I wanted to do this like two years ago when the um it chapter one movie came out and I never got around to it and now that the second one is about to come out I was like so you can see that that is significantly like light I'm gonna have to bring that down my neck yeah and I don't like I said this was my foundation shade for a hot minute and I don't know in what universe I thought this was the right shade yeah but I'm very excited that I found this tripod my I had a desktop tripod and my dog got a hold of it and chewed it up and I had apparently ordered a new one and forgot about it and threw it in my closet. And again, like I said, I forgot about it. So I didn't know I had it. And I was like, oh, I need to order a new one I because I want to start doing tutorials. Finally, finally starting to do tutorials. And so I was like, oh, I put, put it in my Amazon cart. And then I was cleaning out my closet. And I was like, what is this? Is this a mic? Because I have a larger mic. Um that only works on my laptop. I have this mic that I can use and then I have a larger one. So I was like, oh, that's my mic. And then I pulled my mic out. So I was like, what is that? It was a tripod for my desk. So I'm like, 
how long ago did I order that? And how long has that been sitting up there? It's like, that's nice. Oh, so like I said, hopefully the lighting's okay. I do have my ring light on um, and my mirror's gonna cast some light when I turn it, but I can't put my ring light right in front of me. And I don't wanna turn my overhead light on because it's gonna wash me out. So hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. Now, I'm not going to put glue on my eyebrows. If you wanna completely blank out your eyebrows, what you would wanna do if I can find my spoolie and I can kind of talk you through it briefly. I'm not going to do it just because I'm doing this and then just going to take it off. I don't want to have to pull glue. I can find a spoolie. You can do it with Elmer's glue. Um, I think it's pretty much what most drag queens do to get rid of their eyebrows to, um, unless they shave them. If you don't want to shave your eyebrows, this is what they do. So you take a spoolie and some Elmer's glue Put some glue on the spoolie and you'll brush it through this way against the hair. Put some more glue on, brush it with the hair, get them flat, let it dry, and then go in with concealer and foundation and it'll pretty much cancel out your eyebrows. And you can go in and you know redraw them on. Again, I'm not doing that because I don't have many eyebrow, much eyebrow hair anyway, so I'm just gonna put some concealer and just lighten it up and kind of draw like just pretend they're not there um, and just put new ones on but if you don't want to do that and you want to be fancy like if I was going to go to a Halloween party right now I would probably do the glue but again I'm at my house I'm not going anywhere so I don't feel the need to put glue on my face um, and this is just the elf camo concealer. I don't normally use this concealer because it creases on me, but it's my lightest concealer. So it's lighter than my shape tape I discovered. So I'm going to use it. And I apologize if I, if you can't see what I'm doing a hundred percent. I am blind without my glasses, so I gotta get pretty stinking close to the mirror. So I am just, you saw, I just put concealer um, under my eyes. I put some, again, on my eyebrows just to kind of lighten them up. It may not lighten them up a whole lot, but we're just gonna ignore them. Like I said, if I was gonna go to a Halloween party, I would probably um, put the glue on because it does that does a pretty good job. And it Elmer's glue is washable, so it it doesn't really as long as you're gentle when you remove it, it doesn't really pull hair out too bad. You just gotta take your time. So I mean, they're lighter. I mean, yeah, you can still see them, but I am gonna put new ones on. But you can see how light the foundation with the concealer is. Like I look pretty stinking white compared to my neck. So that's why I'm not using grease paint. Because like I said, the costume makeup. I have some. Um, I think I'm going to mix in a little bit in my foundation when I do a goth video. But you can see um, I do want to do like a goth transformation video. But yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty stinking pale. So I think I could get by with just using that foundation by itself. And I have powder somewhere. There's so much stuff <laughs> laid out on my desk. I tried to take out everything out of my drawers. And I'm just using, this is just a translucent powder. This is the one from ColourPop. And you just wanna make sure that it is a translucent powder or even like e.l.f. makes a pressed like HD powder that's pretty stinking white. Um, I used to have it, I got rid of it because I wasn't, it has flashback and I wasn't using it anymore. So I passed it along, but you just wanna make sure you're not using um, 
anything with color if you are like you could like this is the 112 foundation you could get like the corresponding powder shade but you don't want to use your normal powder if it's tinted because then that's going to show up and darken your face and then like for me if I was going to go out like I only took it halfway down my neck I would take the foundation all the way to my chest if I was actually going somewhere um because like I said it's significantly lighter than my neck and I'm just pressing the powder in my face to try and set it because I put so much concealer on and that concealer does crease on me Again, not that it matters a whole lot, but I was hoping my eyebrows were going to lighten up a little bit more, but I think it'll be all right. I'll try to follow a little bit of the existing shape and then we'll just ignore it. I got, that's why I wear t-shirts. I did put a towel down, but now there's obviously, I, of course I get powder the one spot the towel's not covering. So, there is the base. <sighs> the only thing I don't like about this powder is it is messy. It's very messy. It's not a bad powder. I didn't like it. It's one of those powders at first. I didn't like it. I don't think it's a good value necessarily because you don't get a ton, but it does go a long way, so... I mean, it's not a bad value, but I don't think it's as cheap as people want to think that it is. But that's just my opinion. Okay, so we have our base on. I'm going to be using pinks um, instead of reds for this. Um, just because I wanted it to be a little more feminine. And I like pink. So you could do it with purple. Um, you can do burgundy, red whatever color you want blue what did you could do any version of this with whatever color you want so first I am going to draw kind of the lines and I'm just going in if I could get the mirror out of the way just a white color pop liner because I'm gonna do lips I just kind of want to stencil where my lines are going to go. I have a small face. So I'm not coming out as far as, because all it is is the line comes out and curves and goes up. And you can do more of a curve, less of a curve. Like I said, I have a small face. Every, like my features are very close together. But I want to kind of stamp out where make sure they're like relatively even and um white is a good option just because you can blend it into your skin at this point and it's not going to be super noticeable they're close they're not exact but you get the idea so that's going to be the lines coming up from his mouth i wanted again wanted to do that first because i am going to go in and shade a little bit but i wanted to stamp that out first I think I'm going to go into eyes and I'm just going to put, if I can open this without making, it's, this is just a single shadow. This is from Medusa's makeup. I don't even know what color this is. Jailbait. This is just a darker pink color. I'm actually using single shadows. We should mark this on the calendar. So anybody who watches my channel regularly knows I don't use single shadows. So... I'm just going to dip into this 
just using a fluffy brush and I'm just going to go in to the crease and I'm going to leave the lid white. Now again, you don't have to do this if you wanted to do more accurate like it makeup standard it makeup from the movie um you would skip this step because his eyelids are bare there's like a little maybe a little bit of liner on the top and the bottom like black liner that's been smoked out but i'm doing a more feminine version so i wanted to put something in the crease so i'm just putting the one shade we're going to do that on both sides. Try not to make a mess because it is a loose shadow and you don't want to. Normally fallout is not a big deal and it'll sweep away, but because the skin is so pale, um, you just want to be careful not to get it all over. And then if you do get it all over, just go in with a light hand and kind of sweep it away. Don't push down, just dust it off. So I didn't want a ton of color. I'm just going to do the one shade, kind of blow it out. Then I'm going to leave the lid bare. Okay, and I'm going to go into the lower lash line. Um, This is just like a little angled brush. And just going on the bottom. So this is probably gonna be the easiest tutorial. And again, I'm not using anything crazy. I have OCD, so I kind of picked a lip color and tried to match eyeshadow and stuff to it. And then I am just, because I kind of winged this out a little bit, I'm just taking the bottom out just a little bit. You can kind of see it. And there's a little bit of a space between the top and the bottom, just kind of winging it out, pink wing. Okay, and again, you don't have to do that much. That's just personal preference at that point. You could do a little bit of color. You don't have to do any color. You could do just a tiny bit of color on the lid. The makeup is very, very basic and simple it's not anything crazy when you go and like really look at it and then for the lid i'm using the color pop this is one of kathleen light's pigments it's the white one i don't know what color this what is this called where are the names on here oh it's on the very bottom the maiden it's just very light like the writing was white i was like i know there's writing on here somewhere just using a flat brush and some setting spray and you can use any setting spray i think that's a medusa's makeup setting spray putting that all over the lid up to the crease and you could go down with a wider base underneath I or like the white eyeliner that I used you could draw that all over the lid and then put it down if you wanted it to be more opaque um, I don't think it's necessary and I am getting some fallout on my face but I'm not terribly concerned with it because this is a white versus like with the pink. So if I have shimmer on my face, it's not a big deal to me. And I'm just stamping that on 
my lid just to give it some sparkle just because I want it to be sparkly so again totally not necessary and we'll put some down into the inner corner I didn't necessarily want this to be like creepy creepy more like a little bit glam so definitely don't have to do the glitter and I'm pretty sure the pink that I used has a little bit of shimmer in it it's glitter all over so yeah when I was talking about sweeping just it'll come off but yeah because it is a white I'm not as concerned with it so um, thinking that I'm gonna do the lips and the lines and then or at least the lines and then do the lips at the very end I'm gonna I'm I've got a couple of different things that I'm thinking about trying I again I'm not a hundred percent wasn't a hundred percent on what I wanted to use I have a color pop shadow that I like the color I'm gonna try and use this I think I'm just using I think this is this is from Medusa's makeup I think this is one of their eyeliner so I'm just using a shadow and the brush and just drawing the lines and I didn't want to speed this up I wanted to try and give people kind of an accurate like representation of how long something like this can take that's the only thing that bothers me like I get why people speed up the videos because it's for time purposes because people don't want to sit there and watch it but then when you go and do it and you're like man this is taking me like an hour why is this taking me an hour well and when it took the actual person doing it an hour you just don't realize how long they were sitting there and this isn't a complicated look so I'm not, when I go and like upload and edit this, I'm not going to speed it up at all. So this might be a little bit longer of a video. I apologize, but I wanted to kind of keep it accurate as far as how long this is actually taking me to do. So there we go easy enough I didn't even wet the eyeshadow I'm just going straight into the color pop and this is in the shade wild thoughts so I'm just dipping the brush in and I'm just going over the white line that I drew and again this is a little bit of a shimmery shadow but I wanted it to be glittery So I'm using a shimmer and it was the right shade of pink also that was another factor because I wanted to get the lips and the shadows as close to the same shade of pink as I could because that bothers me when they're like very different so that was also another factor Now the shade that I used in my crease is not quite the same color as this, but I might go back and kind of deepen a little bit. I don't know. I don't know that you need to. I kind of like that it's a little bit softer. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And like the sides, mine do not match exactly. And like this is definitely a lot sharper on this side but it doesn't have to be exact again he's a murderous clown for Pete's sakes 
doesn't have to be perfect. And you can make the line thicker, thinner, smudge it out a little bit. Again, this is very easy, just using basic stuff that you have. And like if you want to use foundation and you don't have a light shade, go to the dollar store and just get a cheap foundation. I mean, you can get some cheap white makeup too if you wanted to go that route, but you don't have to. There's inexpensive alternatives. Okay, I would definitely say like they're not exact, but they're close. It serves a purpose. Okay, and I think, kind of think I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows with the same shadow. And he's got like evil eyebrows. And these are probably not the exact same eyebrows. That he's got. And his eyebrows are pretty light, so I don't want to go too heavy with it, but there are there are brows on him. They're just very light in contrast. And again, I'm just using the same brush. If you wanted them to be darker, you could definitely wet the shadow and you could go in with black and just do, I did get black out because I was originally thinking I was just gonna do a light black eyebrow, but I think I'm just gonna keep it pink. So there's a basic eyebrow. And I think I'm gonna take this brush and kind of blow it out because his eyebrows are light in comparison to the rest of the makeup. So I don't want him to be super like there. So there's a basic eyebrow. They're not as dark as like the lip makeup. And then again, we're gonna take that same shadow. I got shadow going all over my face. We are gonna go in and cover our nose. And you just wanna go all the way around. It's a pretty straight line. So we're not here for an eternity. So we're at 30 minutes so far. And you could probably even go in with your finger. That's the only bad thing with these like color pop shadow. Oh, that's better. And yeah, it's just a basic, it's a straight line. It's not got a crazy shape. Get some basic color down there and then I can go back over and this is like I said this is a shimmer um, you can definitely use a matte I'm gonna put some glitter on top of it and be extra but you don't have to do that by any means Trying to get it as opaque as I can. It's hard on the nose, especially my nose, because I have a problem where makeup just does not want to adhere to my nose. Um, you can put eyeshadow primer down. I didn't think about doing that before I put my foundation on, but that would certainly help, especially if you're using eyeshadow. Kind of 
kind of help it stick but I think it looks fine on camera so that's something but yeah I can definitely like see where it doesn't want to like in here and it's some of it's probably the shadow because it is a shimmer um, and the color pop ones sometimes do work better with your fingers so I'm using a brush I'm putting eyeshadow on my nose so I mean it's it's working decent considering what we're actually what we're doing so that's pretty good and I would probably be more concerned if I wasn't going to put some glitter um, I'm not going to put a ton of glitter this glitter's never even been opened let's see am I going to be able to get it open maybe I'm trying to use my finger I do have tweezers that I could probably get out and be somewhat intelligent about doing this I happen to have a glitter in this shade, so I, I'm using it. But you don't have to put glitter on your nose. Not unless you want to be sparkly. I like, as you can tell, I like sparkly. So I'm going to take a little bit of glitter glue. And this is just a NYX glitter glue. Um, you could use eyelash glue if you don't want to buy glitter glue. Um, and I'm just going to concentrate that right on the center. I'm not going to cover my whole nose. but um you could even use the elmer's glue stick and just tap a little bit like if you're gonna blank out your your eyebrows like I said, it'll come off it's not gonna permanently stick to your to your skin so yeah you don't have to feel like you have to don't feel like you have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff because that's kind of the whole point of this is to just use stuff that you have that's why i was saying you can you don't have to do dark pink you don't have to do red i mean if you've got blue so you can see i just put some sparkle on the tip of my nose um use whatever purple use what you have because yeah that's the whole point is to not have to go out and spend a bunch of money to look cute so that's just the basic structure of the face now you can do a wing um i have different colored eyeliners well actually they're lip liners but i don't know if i'm gonna do a wing i kind of feel like maybe i want to put some this is a lip liner i don't know if i want to do any liner honestly I'm kind of going back and forth on it I am going to try and put false lashes on. So I'm going to curl these just a little bit. Okay. For lips, I'm going to do Lock Diary by ColourPop. I was wanting to do Jeffree Star's Diva, but this is, I think, a closer shade to the like shadows and stuff. So normally I would use a matte. Uh, this is not a matte. This is a satin, but And you want the point to be very pronounced. And I don't want it to connect in the middle. So I'm going to not draw. And I came down just a tad bit farther to kind of give me a more pinched effect. And you could totally use 
liquid lipstick to do the lines um, if it's matte. I, this is satin, so I wouldn't recommend it. But if you have a matte lipstick, you definitely could. You can do it with for eyeliner. You could do it to do eyebrows if you wanted more. I just wanted a light little eyebrow. Um, so I didn't do anything crazy. And then I think I am going to try and contour a little bit. But I'm going to contour with some gray and some pink. Excuse me. So this is a Too Faced blush. Just my love. And again, I'm not trying to get crazy with it. And you can do gray. I do have a gray um, toned palette that I think I'm going to go back in with too and kind of define a little bit, but this will give you a little bit of color. You want to, if you do contour, you want to bring it down low because you want to kind of make your cheeks look a little sunken. You want them to look hollow. So see how I've opened and I'm going in where it hollows to kind of help. create that illusion and it's subtle but you could go in heavier for sure you can do more you could do less I'm just wanting to put pink on my face I think <laughs> I don't think there's any other reason so I am going to go in with a different probably should have got out um one of my other older contour brushes that I don't might go in with this. So I want to hollow that out a little bit more. I don't know. If, we'll just stick with the pink. I have a hot pink blush. I was going to go in with a gray, but I don't think that's too fat. I want something a little more precise. So I'm just going to use this is a big fluffy brush. again so you can see I've kind of drawn and then I'll go back in and blend it I don't know any insane where and you can suck in I just don't want to mess up the lipstick so but you can see I'm just drawing down where um, where it would sink in. Because that's all you're doing with contour is you're creating a shadow, a fake false shadow to give the illusion. So then that kind of contours down a little bit. And again, you could do it with gray. I did get a palette out because I was originally gonna do it with gray and just decided not to. I am going to use a little bit of gray because I'm going to go in and do kind of the lines on the forehead a little bit. Uh, and then you'll get to see me try and put false lashes on. So this is just a flat brush. I'm going to try and wipe it off because I can't guarantee that this, and this is just the chocolate bonbon palette. And I'm just going to go in with like almond truffle, which is a cool toned. And I'm going to look up because I have lines in my forehead already so I'm literally just drawing in my lines now if you're fortunate and you don't have lines um, you can just space them out evenly Kind of keep them towards the center but because i have some see so now i've got some lines on my forehead 
kind of gives you like a furrowed brow look just a, a little bit of shading in between and this is again this is not necessary I'm gonna go in where um, the dimples kind of are I'm just kind of putting some shadowing it's just past where my natural smile lines would be and again this is not a necessary step by any means this just gives a little bit more dimension to your face and we can contour with this color So yeah, very, very basic and you could even go in. This is mocha, it's a little bit darker. And this is just giving, um, and because I have those lines already established, this is just giving some dimension because the white tends to make everything look flat, even though it's not like a true white. You can see my forehead now has kind of some depth to it where it didn't really have any before. And you can go and put some lines kind of around your eyes if you want. Again, you don't have to. Just kind of, and you can shade like along the sides of the lines if you wanted to give them some more depth. Just to, like I said, to kind of give your face some dimension. That's really all you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to put some mascara on and then we'll do the lashes. I will attempt to stick them on. Don't think I'm going to do a wing. I was going to do a wing and I've changed my mind. There's a hair here. I think I'm just going to leave it with no wing, but you could definitely do a wing. I saw somebody two years ago that did a really cute like version of this and I'm pretty sure she had winged eyeliner and I do have pink mascara that I was going to put on but I, I really the bad thing is it doesn't show up so I don't know that you'd even be able to see my lashes And there's so much pink on here right now that I don't think it's necessarily like so this is probably the easiest it makeup you could do he like said well, just with stuff that you have very very easy simple oh I did get some highlighter out um, let me put a little bit of highlighter on this is pillow talk then unnecessary step but because we're doing a slightly glam version. Not that it's even probably going to show up on camera because my lighting's not great. So you can see the lines more now reflecting the light and so you can see I kind of it's starting to get patchy but put an eyeshadow primer down like I said I forgot to do that and that'll kind of help it lock in and you could definitely go in with like a loose shadow wet and that'll really cling on there too a little bit better again I kind of had an idea what I wanted to do I got a bunch of stuff out kind of just experimented on camera but I think it's cute Nice. You can definitely see the shading that I did now on my forehead and around kind of deepen it up a little bit. But you could even do that in pink or purple or blue, you know, whatever color you decide to do it. 
Oh, I still have my tweezers out. Okay. There's so much stuff on my desk. And I never wear false eyelashes. So I'm going to have to move the, the mirror. I used to wear false eyelashes all the time and I stopped wearing contacts. I developed like chronic dry eye and I just quit wearing them. So it's more challenging. Is there glue on the edge of this? Probably because I haven't used it in forever. Oh, there it goes. Okay. But yeah, I used to every day would put them on and it's one of those when you use them all the time it does get easier but then like I stopped wearing them and now I can't like put them on and that's probably too much glue I'm almost positive that it is okay we're just gonna let this sit the least favorite part so yeah I'm at 46 minutes and that's this is just basic but I like I said I think it gives you more of a realistic idea of how long this would take and then depending on your skill level and like if you practiced it like the next time I did this probably could you could probably get this down to 30 minutes honestly I wasn't a hundred percent on what exactly like product wise what I was going to use I've kind of kind of went back and forth so um This is definitely something that you could probably, minus the eyelashes, you could probably get this down to 30 minutes, which is nice because it's super easy. And like from far away, I think it's cute. Like I said, I would normally put down a primer because it is starting to, but that's normal circumstances I would probably spend a little more time applying that too. Lord. Just got glue up my eyelid. Oh, okay. And we'll stick the other one on. I did get a little bit of glue on my eyelid but I don't think you can see it so we'll just pretend it's not there so yeah I think that's cute and it's not necessary with the wing I think if I wasn't going to do false lashes and just wear my regular lashes I would probably do a wing but I don't think it's necessary but the falsies, I think, are cute with this. And that's probably not enough time, but you'll get the idea. And those are not on quite right, but I think it's okay. Looks good on camera. So yeah, this is my super easy it makeup using stuff I had in my drawer didn't buy any like costume makeup or anything just use stuff that I have let me know what you guys think like I said this is probably one of the easiest Halloween makeup looks you can do I thought it'd be fun since the movie's coming out so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching hopefully this was fun hopefully this was helpful I'm trying to get into the Halloween spirit early again if you have not subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below it means so much to me and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys